Hey guys, so for the last part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take all the work that we've done so far and move it into Ableton Live so we can mess around with it. Um, so to start that process, go ahead and copy everything. So we got it all, and now open up Ableton Live. Live. Um, so to do this, to follow along, just have Max Live and Max for Live. Um, so just make sure your income is at at least 60k, and then go ahead and watch this video. Um, not that mine is, but piracy. Okay, so we've got this all set up, and um, what we need to do is grab Max Instrument here and just drag that onto the MIDI column, and Max for Live will start up, hopefully. Then you come down here and click this little icon, and this will bring up, well, if you can actually click it, it'll bring up uh, Max Patcher with this sweet, like, brushed metal MIDI uh, Ableton Live background. Uh, so just go ahead and paste all that junk in here, and then I'm just going to move it up and um, adjust the zoom so you guys can see it. Um, resolution might not be so great. Uh, hopefully that is visible. Uh, let's take the audio to live, move that down, delete this, connect the output to audio for live, sweet. Delete this because that's how we got MIDI in in the first place. Uh, except for MIDI parse, save MIDI parse because we want to. Uh, what comes from live will not be note on note offs, it will be raw MIDI. Um, so I have to hook that up like that. Let's grab all this and move it over. Uh, sweet. Okay, and now we just want to build some controls and then we should be done. Um, so to do that, we're just going to make. We need dials for filter cutoff, resonance, envelope modulation, portamento time, attack, decay, sustain, release, and something to pick between square waves and sawtooth waves. Though this looks, um, oops, sorry, this looks pretty acceptable for that, so we may just leave it the way it is. Uh, so I'll make one dial here to show you how to do it, and then um, I'll just do the rest of them so you guys don't have to sit through that. So you go new, live, live.dial. Uh, select the dial, command I, open the inspector, and this one's going to be for our cutoff frequency. So give it the long name, cutoff frequency, and the short name, I don't know, F cutoff. Uh, the type float is fine. The range between maybe, I don't know, 10 and 10,000. Uh, the unit style is hertz. And the exponent, let's set that to 2. Um, because uh, the perception of pitch varies exponentially with the frequency rather than linearly, so that's the way you want to do that. So that's how you did that. do that one, and um, I'm just going to pause here and go ahead and do all the others, and then we'll, we'll meet back up when I'm done with that. Sweet. Okay, so I've made all the dials. Uh, they look very pretty, so now we can just hook them up. Attack to attack, decay to decay, sustain to sustain. Release to release. Uh, it's going to look really messy as we start to hook all these up, but it doesn't matter. In a second, we'll switch over to presentation mode, and it will be like, none of this ever happened. Um, so now we just want to grab the few things that we care about, saw our square, and all this stuff, and um, hit Command-Shift-P to add to presentation, and it'll turn pink like that. And then you hit presentation mode, and everything else, all that junk, fades away, and we're left with nothing but what we care about. What's that? Are we? Sorry, the weather is going from um, has gone from depressing rain to depressing hail now to depressing sunlight. Uh, so we have to go out and revel it in a second. Uh, let's give it a cool name like TB three hundred four because it's not really a TB three hundred three. Put that up here and just label this as waveform. Not worry too much about how this looks at this stage, because um, you know I don't really care about looks. I'm a very I'm more about the person inside. And so we set all that up, um, and that should be it. Okay, now the couple of things we have to do before it's ready to go into live: make the window nice and small like this, and then go to View Set Device Width. That's how wide the instrument will appear in live. Um, last thing you have to do is go into View Patcher Inspector. Um, and check this box for open in presentation mode. Uh, that way it'll look like this when we open it in live. Uh, let's save it as TB303 tut. Overwriting the one from the old take I just did and failed at. And now um, 
hopefully this should just work. Uh, let's see what happens. So if I go ahead and make um, just some, this tutorial A is not really about live, so I'll skip how to do all this, and B, I totally suck at live, so I do not really deserve to be writing tutorials about it. Alright, let's see if it works. Uh, okay, what's wrong? Okay, so I figured out what the problem was. Uh, it turns off your resonance or Q cannot be zero. Who knew? Uh, I also checked my email, so everything, basically everything worked out for the best, but now we have sound. Hooray. Um, okay, so no promises now because, you know, I'm A, don't have a MIDI keyboard with me, and B, uh, so sort of not my forte, but uh, let's see, let's mess around a bit. So, I don't know, grab the drum rack, do some kind of... Uh, get some cheesy disco kind of beat going. Uh, let's grab some random kick, uh, random hi-hat, and a snare. Uh, I want snare largeness, because I am the largeness. Uh, and we'll just go doom, 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 doom. And with the snare we'll go with the hi-hat we'll go uh, and then open or something see how that sounds okay, that's, that's basically it um, okay maybe let's make this a little bit different uh, or let's add another one and this one let's see so we'll go, how does it go right now? Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hmm. Let's turn this on so I can hear it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. How does that sound? Yeah, basically. Um, uh, wait, if we control click this, bring it to 30 seconds, we can probably get a... Exactly um, uh, magical, but that's pretty good. Um, yeah, sure, why not? And you know, the whole the whole acid sound comes from you know you play your loop, and you come over to your dials here, and you just sort of mess around with it all over the place. If there's any demand for it, I'll do a whole thing around the instrument and, uh, I don't know, throw it up and we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope that was um, at least enjoyable to some extent. Sorry if it dragged a bit in the middle there, but I thought for completeness, you know, we'd build the whole thing. Uh, so, yeah, basically have an awesome one and take it easy, guys. See you around. But not really.